How's it going, pilots? This is Pete with BananaHobby.com. Welcome to your flight review. Today we are reviewing the Blitz RC Works version, our new version of the backpack jets here. This is the F-35, and uh, this portion we're going to call our setup portion of this, uh, this review. There's a couple of things that did change with this very, very popular backpack jet. And today, this is the F-35 Lightning here. And uh, the key thing that is now an addition that comes with every single backpack jet is, is what we call a two-axis gyro. And I have it in my hand right here. I have the one in the F-35 already mounted. So we will talk a little bit about how to set this up and uh, different configurations and how to, how to actually get this to work in your uh, backpack jet here. Again, this is the backpack jet. It's in the 50 millimeter category. Not much has changed as far as performance. They still fly absolutely amazing, fast. And uh, F-35s are actually one of my, my favorite airframes along with the uh, F-22. And what this two axis gyro basically does, performs now, the uh, advantages, I'll talk about that a little bit. It's pretty much uh, on the same level as if you, if all you all out there are familiar with the uh, the E-Flight stuff, it's called the, uh, the AS3X. It's the same concept. This is not a tri-axis, this is just a two-axis. And what it's going to do is it's going to provide a ultimately, um, ultimate, very, very stable platform. So for people that are actually learning how to fly EDF jets and things like that, there's a couple of setting variations in this little gyro here that uh, you will be able to set up so that it makes your uh, flying of these uh, EDF jets a lot, a lot easier. So basically, we're gonna go into this real quick here. There's a couple of things about this setup here. Uh, the, uh, the instructions that are included, they're pretty, pretty clear here with uh, what to do. As far as what you're going to do is you're going to plug in, first of all, let's talk about this gyro. This gyro right now on this aircraft, on this F-35, this F-35 flies on Delta wing mixing. So when you're using your own radio, or if you choose to get a radio, this is flying on Delta wing mixing. However, if you're going to use the two access gyro, you cannot set your radio. Today we're using the uh, JR9503. You do not want to select uh, Delta wing mix on here. You want to use a normal wing mix, just like AS3X. They want you to set it up in airplane mode. So you want to make sure just select normal airplane mode in here. And this unit right here will actually do the mixing for you. So on a Delta wing, this airplane flies on Delta wing mix. So your ailerons and your elevators are doing the same thing at the same time. Uh, as far as elevator control and then as far as your aileron control. So on your, uh, on your twin axis gyro here, you will select on here, uh, S1 is the, the, select, the configuration switch and uh, down is normal airplane and up is uh, for mixing. So for basically up is for delta wing mixing. And on there, on here, you will see tiny, tiny little, uh, I don't know if just, you guys can pick that up, but when you get this, you'll actually see it. There are tiny little dip switches on here and they are labeled S1, G1, or just one, two, three. And those are the dip switches that you will select um, to configure to whatever craft you have. This will actually go into any airplane. Um, you'll just have this running on your tail section, um, your, L, your uh, aileron and your elevator section. So first of all, this is going to be set on Delta mix. So we, gonna, we will uh, pop this dip switch to the up position. And then the next key thing to remember is this. If you're flying this in regular airplane mode and uh, your airplane is actually just flying on ailerons, and elevators independent of each other that are separate, you will be mounting this unit in this configuration. This will be in the fuselage in the parallel configuration, like this. If you are running it in delta mode, which this is flying on, you will have this in this configuration. So it's an, it's an X configuration here. So this is for regular normal wing mode, and this is for delta mix. And this way, when it's mounted like this, it controls the surfaces independently with uh, through the system here. And you're you're basically plugging in this to your receiver, to your aileron and elevator channels, and then the uh, servo actually the two servos on the aircraft actually plugs into here. And here's a little bit of a tip for you. This is a little bit difficult to fit in some of these smaller fuselages. And I've noticed that you can, what, how, how you can do this, if you're mounting it in the X configuration here uh, for Delta Mix, these prongs here, you can actually just bend them up. And that's exactly what I did right here. You can see that I bent, I bent the servo leads right here. I just kind of real slowly with my hand, I just bent them up 
and uh, you want to put a little bit of a double-sided tape and you want to just tape it down to the uh, bottom of a flat portion inside the fuselage here. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in and talk about this, uh, this gyro really quick here. So transmitter on first, and then we're gonna plug in the negative lead, okay? There's uh, something to really keep in mind here and pay attention to. Watch the surface. If you notice that the control surface is jittered right there, this is what we call initial, initial, initializing as far as the gyro. This is just like a helicopter gyro. It cannot, the airplane can't be moving around when you're actually uh, plugging it in. So you wanna make sure it's on a flat surface, plug it in. You will have a red indicator light on top of here. This, this LED will light up, it will flash. And once it goes solid red, the uh, gyros has initialized and it would jitter. It would give you the, uh, the gyro initializing jitters on the control surfaces telling you that it's ready to go. So now that is ready to go, I just wanted to show you exactly what we're talking about here. We still have our elevator and your ailerons here. And what this two axis gyro now is doing is, when your aircraft is pitching, pitching down, you can see the, the elevators control the uh, counter rate. They come up to up elevator. If you're pitching up, it goes up. It goes. Uh, it gives you down elevator. So if you go, if I show you this this side here. Sorry about it. Pretty noisy back here. You can actually see the surface is moving with the uh, the pitch direction here. And then if we go to the roll axis here, when it rolls, it counters it as well. So this right here creates an extremely extremely stable platform. And uh, these airplanes fly really really well now because uh, it's uh, it's always trying to find the center point on the aircraft it's almost like it's almost carefree to fly it's so smooth and uh, you can actually dial up the gain on the uh, gyro and you can dial it down there's a little dial pod on there if it's too sensitive you dial it down if it's not sensitive enough you can dial it up and there are also two setups in this gyro as well as far as uh, how you want to set up there's a pro version and then there is a uh, a novice version. So the novice version is gonna give you a lot more control here. So we will play with that a little bit later, but this is basically how this works. As you can see, the gyro is controlling the surfaces. And what that does is during flight, any kind of variations, even in strong wind, whatever the aircraft's gonna do, it's gonna to wanna to roll. It, this, the uh, gyro will actually sustain it and bring it back to a flat level flight here. I did put one flight on this already and it flies absolutely amazing. Again, this is the 50 millimeter F-35 with the addition of the two access gyro. Um, I think any other uh, information here, we'll probably add it during the flight, but for now, I think we're pretty much ready to go here. Let's just go ahead and take it to the field here and give you a flight review of this beautiful little 50 millimeter backpack jet with the two access gyro. All right, so we have the uh, F-35 now initialized and ready to go here. We are in the expert mode, I believe, and later on we will flip it back into the novice mode. And as you can, I'll show you right now with these hand launches, it makes hand launching these airplanes extremely easy now. It just leaves your hand extremely straight. Let's go ahead and fly this F-35 here with two axis gyro here. You can see that hand launch right there was, it just le left, like leaves the hands nice and straight. And we have some wind right now, and I'm at about half throttle here, and you can see that the, uh, the gyro is constantly correcting the movements on the control surfaces, and it keeps it nice and flat here. And this is hands off right here. I'll make a, I'm going to turn it in towards the wind here, and I'll take my hands off the sticks here. That's, my hands are completely off the stick, and it's flying perfectly flat and straight. There we go, completely no, no movement on my hands right now. You can still roll it. But the best part I believe with the with this two axis gyro is you can really slow it down. Although there's no rudder on here, this is on mixing. However, you can slow it down. This is the benefits of having this type of a gyro. A little bit of a wind there.
you know, if you opt to not use the gyro, you can do that as well. This F-35 flies just really, really well, all, you know, all well-rounded, where you don't have to use a gyro, but it's just something, that I think, for the, uh, for the people that are nervous about hand launching and just learning about EDF jets, this makes it just so much easier. This is just so smooth here. Do some high speed flying here. Okay, that means that the gain is too high. So we'll probably turn that down a little bit. Turn the gain down a little bit there. Look at that, it makes inverted flying like nothing. <laughs> I'm barely on the sticks. I'm barely moving the sticks here. Wow, that, that is just too cool. All right, that's some slow inverted flying for you there. I think this just brought EDF jet flying and airplane flying to the next level. Putting these two axis gyros and these things are absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ahead and just set her up here for a little landing here. Just like that. So that's pretty much how the airplane reacts in um, the, I guess it's called the master mode on the on the two axis gyro. We're gonna go ahead and flip the switch here and put it in the novice mode and see exactly how smooth this is. Let's go try that now. Okay, so what we've done now is we've gone ahead and uh, gone to the dip switches here, and which is the S2 dip switch. And we had it in what's called the master mode earlier and now we have it flipped down to the novice mode which means that it should actually give it more stability um, so we just go, went ahead and flipped that little tiny dip switch right there and we are ready to go here let's go ahead and try it again and see how this uh, little f-35 flies in the novice two axis gyro mode here and then later on i think we're going to go ahead and just take the gyro completely off and uh, fly it with a regular delta wing mixing so you guys can guys and gals out there can kind of see what difference uh, this uh, two axis gyro makes there. All right, let's go fly it. All right, so we are now in novice mode and let's give her a try here. Oh my goodness. I haven't touched the sticks. <laughs> wow. Well, this was my first time flying this uh, F-35 in novice mode as well. So I really didn't know what to expect, but it's, I don't you have to touch a six. This airplane's flying by itself. I mean, of course, we're gonna have to touch a six to get it back over here, but. That's completely hands off right there. Oh my goodness. This is almost like cheating. <laughs> this definitely has taken EDF jet flying to the next level. For all the people out there that, you know, all y'all that are nervous about transitioning into an EDF jet, especially with hand launches and things like that, I think this just absolutely just took, took out all of your fears to like uh, non-existent here because this is like flying like cheating basically <laughs> it's flying so well again if you see that little wing wobble there that's uh that just says that the gain on the aileron side is a little bit too high you just turn it down with a little phillips screwdriver however i think you want it a little bit higher so it gives you more control authority for the gyro to actually do its thing I'm 
still roll. Performance is great. Got a big loop there. The key thing with this uh, two-axis gyro is just for stability. I, I don't know if you guys can actually get a sense of the aircraft. It's just, I'm not touching the sticks right now and it's flying flat and straight. I haven't touched the sticks yet. It's still <laughs> flying flat and straight. Man, this is amazing. There we go, I took my hands off the sticks and the jet is flying by itself. You know, flying these little jets, they're not always about flying fast and low and things like that. It's just about, you know, having fun and, and uh, being able to just control one of these little F-35s is absolutely amazing. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and bring her around and set her up for another landing here. can't believe the hand launches are so straight. Okay, we can do that way too. <laughs> I wasn't planning that, but it was coming a little bit hot. So that was in, uh, let me grab the canopy real quick here. So that was in novice mode, and she is just absolutely rock solid in novice mode as well. The hand launches are, they're so straight and flat. Um, I think now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab the, uh, the gyro, take the two axis gyro completely out, and we will give you a flight review with, uh, without any gyros in it and just fly it in delta wing mix. Let's go back and uh, take the gyro out. We've gone ahead and taken out the gyro. Basically, we just unplugged it. And uh, remember a couple of things in the setup side now. When you take out the gyro, you will now be flying this on your own computer radio, or if you choose to get a radio from us, it will be set in mixing mode now. Uh, on the 9503, we have selected it for delta wing mix and uh, basically unplugged the gyro. And then also something to keep in mind that I forgot to mention earlier, when you are flying it on the two axis gyro, you do not want to want to use the trims. Um, right now when we're going to, when we're flying this F-35, it is now on uh, delta wing mix, so you have the trim function. You're going to make, play with the trim to get it to actually fly flat. When you are flying on the, tw the uh, two axis gyro, do not use any kind of trim function at all. At all. Don't use any sub trimming and don't use any uh, existing trimming on your radio. The uh, two axis gyro will be controlling everything. And when you do this, when you go to set this airplane up, you want to make sure it's on a flat table surface. And after the gyro has initialized, then go ahead and adjust your control surfaces. All right, so now there is no gyro in here. This is just the uh, Backpack Jet F35, and we're just going to go ahead and have some fun with it. Here we go. As you can see that hand launch right there, the uh, F-35 veered off to one side. And uh, that's where before when we had the two axis gyro in it, it did not do that. But now it does do that. And uh, you can see that my hands are pretty full here flying this airplane. But this is an F-35, they fly great. We're just gonna have some fun. Wow, that roll rate's a little quick. <laughs> I suggest uh, using some Expo. I think I'm at about 50% on my Expo here. Still flies just as well without the gyro, but that gyro definitely is going to add to the stability for not only this F-35, but just about every airplane you can think of, you can throw that little gyro in there, that little two-axis gyro, and it make you know any airplane extremely smooth. Go ahead and do some inverted flying here.
These backpack jets, man, they are so fun. I wish I had this stuff back when I was learning and uh, growing up, man. It's just so much fun to fly, and it's so small, carefree, EPO foam, and you know, just carry it with you anytime here. All right, let's go ahead and set it up for landing here. Just like that. All right, my name is Pete. This is the Backpack Jet F35 by Blitz RC Works, available by Banana Hobby. Thank you all always for checking out these flight reviews. I hope this review has brought some uh, information to you about the two-axis gyro. I think maybe later on we'll talk about it some more with a different type of an aircraft when we have an actual uh, aileron and elevator aircraft. And uh, you can really see the, the benefits of that two-axis gyro that it's included with all these little backpack jets now. It's just absolutely amazing where technology has gone. Uh, my name is Pete. Please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out our new website at bananahobby.com with all the new uh, hottest uh, RC stuff coming as well. We'll see you next time.